Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and of course uh, we always take a look at the background noise and what's happening when there's updates to Windows. So um, after 24 hours of uh, updating with the latest patch Tuesday that was uh, released yesterday April 14th 2020 we uh, of course have a lot of uh, fixes for security in there and so it's a uh, a pretty big patch Tuesday and you know the bigger they are the more chances of problems one problem seems to arise a little more and it's the problem of um, the install not in, not going through and uh, basically rolling back and uh, with an error message it's a little higher than normal I see the background noise usually as a spe you know there's always a, a part of the people that have that issue so for that um, there is the Microsoft update catalog where you can download it manually um, I'll post the link to the um, update for patch Tuesday yesterday for Windows 10 in the description below the video there you have the updates uh, 64 and 32 bit versions and depending on what version you have you'll have to choose the correct one uh, so basically, um, that could fix a, an issue if you have problems with uh, the update installing. It seems to be the biggest problem. Most people after the install seem to have um, a good experience. I haven't seen um, you know any uh, higher than normal problems arising from the patch Tuesday this week. Um, except the, the regular people that, you know, well, the, the 1% that have problems or half a percent. The problem with, you know, this background noise is that, of course, you know, at 1 billion installs, yeah, 1%, you know, is still millions of people. So that makes it a little more difficult to, um, to manage, you know, millions of people. Some of them will rant on online and, you know, a lot of people will say, well, look at that. You're wrong. There's really a lot of problems with this update. But in reality, the background noise is like 0.5 to 1%. Of course, it's, you know, always it's not putting down the fact that if you have a problem, it's not important. It is because, you know, I mean, it, it always is uh, really uh, sad to see that you got a problem with your computer. Another thing that is uh, to try if you have failing updates, make sure that you um, remove all devices connected to USB. Make sure that you have the minimum amount of software and things running. Uh, restart your PC. Try again without doing anything else than just updating. Um, and uh, make sure that uh, all of that is done if you've got some issues. Personally, I've got a few people asking me a few questions of how long it took and so on. It uh, went quite fast, honestly. Um, I don't think it took more than um, maybe five, five, six minutes to install and, and restart. But depending on the machine you have, uh, it was a big update, you know, lots and lots of fixes. So it might take, you know, up to half an hour easily on some older machines. So it uh, depends on the computer you're using also and how modern it is. If you're using a solid state drive or a regular magnetic hard drive, you know, speeds are different. Overall, uh, right now, the install seems to be okay. So uh, we'll be, of course, taking a look at it. And um, basically, uh, if anything pops up out of the ordinary, we'll uh, be here to talk about it also. Um, so patch Tuesday updates uh, yesterday fixing a lot of security updates on Windows. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.